Hello everyone and welcome to this class. Uh, my name is Charles and I'm going to lead you through this uh, dynamic vinyasa practice. Um, make sure you've got your blocks, your props, anything you need uh, to help uh, your practice. If you need straps and you don't have a strap, you can use a, a t-shirt, uh, a towel, um, anything, again, anything you can use to uh, assist you in your practice. Uh, once you've got everything, come to seated and make yourself comfortable. You can sit across legs, you can sit on your heels. Uh, I you like to use a block, you can use a book that helps to keep the spine nice and straight. And then you close your eyes. You close your eyes, take a few moments to settle in. A few moments to find stillness. Simply observing how you feel. How does your body feel in this moment? How's your breath? How do you feel? Any particular emotions with you in this moment? How's your energy? What are you thinking about? Are there many thoughts coming in and out? Or maybe there's a particular thought with you in this moment. Taking a moment to slow down everything. And you can use the breath to do that. So take a full and deep inhalation through the nose. Breathe it out. And again, full breath in. Full breath out. From here, bring the prayer to the heart. Thumb softly resting the sternum, palms gently pressing together. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Set an intention, give a meaning, a purpose to your practice. And if you'd like to share your energy with someone else, bring in a person to your heart. Keep them there throughout the practice, allow them to give you strength. But having them there is a way of sharing your practice and making the practice more than you. Take a deep breath in. Let's open and practice this space with one arm. Deep breath in. Um, from here, gently blinking as open. Removing the block or any prop you had to sit on. Coming to a fours from a fours. Start spreading the fingers, energy through the arms, push forward with the shoulders, tuck the toes under, draw the belly button into the spine, fill the space between the shoulder blades, and then slowly lifting the knees, slowly push yourself back, slowly find your first downward facing dog. Make this dog active. So pedal the feet, move the knees to the center line, taking gentle twists. Slowly bring movement to every part of your body. Maybe opening the hips, Maybe you like to move to a plank, moving in your plank. Maybe you like to take a further find a gentle back. Gentle movements, just connecting. Start connecting and feeling your body. And then you slow down the movement. Slowly find your down dog. And from your down dog, gently walk into the top of the mat, step by step, come into a deep forward fold. We come to a forward fold, hands to the ground, hands on opposite elbows, maybe interlacing the fingers behind the head if that feels good. We can move side to side. Make sure the feet are wide, the knees are soft so you're not creating tension in the back. And then finding stillness, releasing the hands to the ground, tucking the chin to the collar. Knees stay soft, slowly you raise up. Uncurl the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Pushing the knees forward, pushing the hips forward. 
slowly lifting up, shoulders and head, last thing to raise. Once you made your way up, you can take a full breath in through the nose, lift up the shoulders, open your mouth, breathe out. From here, we step to the top of the mat, we bring the feet together, we find our first pose, mountain pose. So gently closing eyes for a moment and finding a connection from the toes all the way to the crown of the head. So big toes, start shields, press down and gently outwards, thighs move inwards, kneecaps lift. Allow the tailbone to drop, push forward with the hips, belly and ribs stay in. Once more, shoulders roll up to the ears, you take a deep breath in, open your mouth, <sighs> breathe out. From here, we find our breath, our own rhythm with the breath, possibly closing the mouth and breathing in and breathing out through the nose. If you got your Uja breath practice, pranayama, gently contracting the back of the throat so to create a sound at the back of the throat. Don't worry if that's not your practice, but trying to maintain the rhythm through the nose. Inhaling, exhaling. And this is the rhythm you're going to keep throughout the practice. So take one more full breath here, inhale, exhale, and then gently blinking as open, next inhalation, hands reach out, palms pressed together, and exhale, we take a deep forward fold, hands to the ground, we lengthen and we look forward, we step the right foot back, left foot joints, high plank, take first the knees down, take the chest on the chin. Move forward to a cobra, shoulders back, and sit back on your heels, find a child pose for a moment. Lean on all fours, exhale, we tuck the toes under, we push back, downward facing dog. And we stay here a few breaths, first breath we settle into the pose, then we find stillness, drawing biceps outwards, creating a space around the neck, ribs and belly in. Tailbone continues lifting, energy through the hands, energy through the feet. Let's take one more full breath in. One deep breath out. Then right foot steps forward between the hands. Exhale, left foot joints. Full breath to lengthen. And breathing out, take a deep foot fold. Full breath in, we raise high with the hands. Prayer to the heart, exhale, release the hands to the side. And again, full breath in. Exhale, folding forward. We lengthen, we look forward. Left foot first steps back, right foot joins high plank. Let's take an extra breath here, chest moves forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, come halfway down, staying here for full breath, inhaling. Exhaling. From here, knees, chest, chin, or you roll forward to your upper facing dog. Push back, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out, spreading the fingers, squeezing gently the mouth with the fingers so there's energy through every single finger. Heels push down and gently outwards, thighs move inwards. Soften the knees if that helps to lift the tailbone. We take one more inhalation. One deep exhalation, then in or left foot steps forward. Exhale, right foot joints. We lengthen, we look forward, we fold. Full breath in, hands to the sky, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, prayer to the heart, release the hands to the side. Now bend the knees, find your chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. We lengthen, we look forward, hands to the ground, lift the heels, pull the weight forward, walk step, flow back, finding your vinyasa. Upper facing dog, chest opens, and pushing back down with facing dog. From here, right leg to the sky, we point the toes. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right arm, and bring the weight over the wrist. Pushing up, inhale. Exhale, knee to the left armpit. In or right leg to the sky. Bring your knee to the forward. Kiss your knee. Now take an extra inhalation. Bring the weight over the wrist. Exhale, foot comes to the mat. High lunge. In or we raise up. 
Exhale, hands to the ground. We step back. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, or Cobra, facing dog. We push back, down, we're facing dog. Left leg goes high. Left knee, left arm, and weight comes forward. In a three-legged dog, find your twist. Knee to the right arm, look over your right shoulder. In a three-legged dog, take the knee to the forehead, kiss your knee. Now shift the weight forward, push your ground away with the hands. Exhale, four comes down, full breath in, hands high, high lunge. And exhale, hands to the ground, we step back with control, chaturang. Upper facing dog, heart opens. Option here to add a second chaturanga, push back, downward facing dog. And we breathe, inhaling, exhaling. In out. Exhale. And from here, right leg to the sky, point to toes. In out. Exhale, you're going to thread the right leg underneath your body. You're going to slide the foot as hard as you can, trying to touch your left wrist. Left hand to the sky, finding your falling triangle. From here, options. You can stay here working on trying to bring all the ten toes to the mat. You can take it further, floating the right leg if you want. Or you can take the right knee to the ground. Keep pushing down with the right hand. Eye of the right elbow moves forward. Left hand keeps reaching high. We breathe in. We breathe out. We take one more full breath here. If you had the leg floating, keep it floating. Let's bring the left hand back to the mat. In, three-legged dog. Exhale, we're going to scoop in our right leg. Now I want you to slowly push the right foot to the left. Slowly transfer the weight to the left hand. Slowly bring the foot down. Keep the left leg extended. And we're going to extend the right arm. Finding our wild thing. Same thing with the arm on the ground. Eye of the elbow moves forward. You're activating the left shoulder. See if you can lift the right heel to lift the right hip a little bit more. Extending a little bit more through the right arm. And we take one more full breath in. Now see if you can do it without using the right hand. In or step all the way forward with the right foot. Exhale, dropping the left knee. Now, full inhalation, hands go to the sky. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Release the first two fingers. Now, untuck the toes of the back foot. Full inhalation, squeeze the arms around your ears. And exhale, push your right knee forward as you lean back, as you open your heart. Now, from here, you're going to start pushing the left foot a little bit more into the ground. Maybe some of you are going to be able to lift the left knee. Other option here, you can open up the arms, you can cactus the arms, keeping the left knee lifted and breathing here. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. If you have the knee lifted, place it down. Full inhalation, hands to the sky. We're going to go for a twist. Exhale, tuck the right elbow outside the right thigh. Now you can use the right hand to push down the thigh so there's a little bit more space for the elbow to come in. Thumbs towards the half, fingers point forward. Push down the hands, spiral chest open. Now back foot, classically the toes are tucked under. If you lift the knee, this version, see if you can keep the toes pointed. And again, lifting the knee, finding a spiraling action, working a little bit more with the front of the left leg. We breathe in, we breathe out. Again, you don't have to lift the knee. You can stay here, keep pushing forward the right knee, keep looking over the right shoulder. We take one more deep breath here. And if you've got the knee lifted, place it down, tuck the toes under, release hands to the ground, stepping back, high plank. Lower down, Chaturanga. Upper facing dog. Pushing back, downward facing dog. From here, I give you options. 
you can stay in your dog or you maybe take the forearms to the ground working with your dolphin pinch her maybe maybe you take the three leg and you stay here if you decide to go up try to do it with control and if you want if you're working with palm balancings hands to the ground choose the right choose the leg you prefer to lift take small hops trying to bring the opposite heel to the chest and maybe you find a moment of balance or maybe you go with both legs straight finding your hands down so choose wherever you want and if child pose is where you want to be or sitting on your heels stay there find a place where you're still breathing inhale exhale we take two more full breaths in your handstand in your pinch in your dog wherever you are and when you're finished when you're ready come to sit on your heels that's all me sitting on your heels or taking a child pose and from there you take a full breath in through the nose open the mouth breathe out and again full breath in breathe out from here we close our mouths and we find again our connection with the breath again inhaling through the nose exhaling through the nose hands to the ground we step back to our downward facing dog and i'm going to turn around you stay there just so you can see me left leg to the sky we point to toes exhale slide the left leg underneath your body extend the leg to the right slide the left foot as high as you can then you lean back try to bring all the ten toes to the mat activate the left shoulder reach out with the right hand same option as before legs can stay down you can float the left leg or you can take the left knee to the ground you choose where you want to take your practice make sure the arms keep extending in the opposite direction keep open the chest keep creating space so breathe long expand reach right expand and reach right if you got the leg floated, keep it floating if you can, both hands to the ground. We lift the left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. From here we flip it, we bend the left knee. With control, start pushing the left foot to the right. Transfer the weight to the right hand, activate the right arm, push, push, push. Left hand floats maybe, then you take the foot down. Keep extending the right leg, keep lifting the left heel open up the chest extend to the left side make sure the right shoulder is active so i'm turning the elbow or either the elbow full inhaling exhaling inhale exhale now try not to use the left turn in we step the left foot all the way forward to the top of the mat Exhale, the knee comes, the right knee comes to the ground. Pick up the energy here, in or lift. Exhale, interlace the fingers. First two fingers long, you release the back foot or place the top of the foot to the mat. Then in, you squeeze your lift. Exhale, you take the knee forward. Left knee moves forward. I start pushing the top of the right foot into the ground. Maybe I lift the knee. I can keep using the arms to extend or option if you want to really open the heart squeeze the elbows behind the back and imagine you want to touch your elbows behind your back inhaling exhaling keep pushing the right foot into the ground two more breaths inhale exhale last one inhale exhale place the knee down raise once more up in and lift up the arms exhale taking a twist right elbow outside the left thigh use the left hand push your thigh down so you can bring the elbow in prayer to that first breath tuck that elbow under pubic bone lifts then we spiral we look over the left shoulder taking the variation of choice say classically it's a toe stuck down there you can take that one 
if you want to work a little bit more on the front, pointed toes, press down, and see if you can bring all the five toes of the right foot to be on the mat as you spiral the chest open. Pick up the right thigh, breathing in, breathing out. One more breath, inhaling, exhaling, bring the knee down, tuck the toes under, hands to the ground. We step back, lower down, Chaturang, upper facing dog. We push back, down the facing dog. Same choices as before. You can take the forearms to the ground and see if you can land the forearms down at the same time. Squeeze in the inner elbows. You can stay here. You can move forwards and backwards if you want. Walk in if you're a little bit further in if you can. Three-legged. Maybe lift up. If you're doing your handstands, again, maybe you change legs this time. Hands walk forward. Maybe only work on doing rocks. Try not to bring the heart forward, but try to keep the spine domed as you come forward. And then maybe use momentum, small hops, trying to bring the heel into the chest. Maybe you stay here. Maybe both legs go straight and you find your handstand. And we breathe. We take two breaths here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. And you exhale, slowly coming down, sitting on your heels at child pose, closing your eyes for a moment, inhaling through the nose, open the mouth, breathe out. And again, breathe in. We take a moment. We reconnect with our rhythm, in and through the nose, exhaling through the nose. From here, hands to the ground, we step back, we find our downward facing dog. And from here, we come to a high plank. We move to a high plank. Now, maybe you take the knees down first, maybe you come down in a straight line, working on tucking the tailbone under, pushing back through the heels. And then slowly we come down. Keep tucking the toes and slowly we come down to the mat. Now, keeping the hands underneath the shoulders, bring the feet together, point the toes. Press the feet, press with the hands, keep feet and hands on the ground and lift up the chest, draw the shoulders back. Exhale here. Now, in or without coming down, lift up the hands. Exhale, squeeze the elbows behind your back. Now, you know, lift up the legs. Exhale, squeeze the elbows. You know, lift up everything. Exhale, squeeze the elbows. We're going to take one more breath here. Lift, 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 lift. Exhale, we're going to calm down. A moment to wiggle the hips. And from here, we're going to bend the knees. Now, options, you can take the outer edge of the feet, so the feet are pointed, Danurasana. You can take the ankles, feet flexed. You choose how you like to keep your feet, feet hip distance, and then we lift up chest and thighs, in. Exhale, we press with the feet. In, lift up chest and thighs. Exhale, press with the feet. In, lifting up. Exhale, press with the feet. Now keep everything lifted, but release your feet. Inhaling. Exhaling. We take one more full breath. Lift, 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 lift. Exhale. Come down to your mat. Wiggle the hips. We're going to pass back through our cobra. So, feet at distance, pointed toes. All the ten toes touching the mat. Hands underneath the shoulders. For inhalation, you start pressing with the hands. Exhale, squeeze the elbows and pull with the hands. Again, inhale, push. Exhale, pull. Feel a sense of drag in your pubic bone. Upper facing dog. We're going to press with the feet more. We're going to lift the knees. We're going to lift the thighs. Walk the hands slightly back if you need. Hands in line with the shoulders. And you keep pulling, keep squeezing and pushing with the feet. Squeeze with the arms, 
push with the feet. Now, placing or rolling over your toes, come to a downward facing dog. Downward facing dog is going to be a little bit longer here and it's perfectly fine. Perfectly good place to be where you can press down through the heels and lengthen as you push with the hands. From here, we're going to bend the knees, we're going to look forward, we're going to step or float the legs through the arms, we're going to come to lay on our backs. We're going to come to lay on our backs. Two more poses here. Two back bends. So, modified bridge, full bridge. Two bridges. You can come down in the middle or you can do ten breaths in a row. You choose. So, first one. If you're taking your modified bridge, hands by your side, lifting up the hips in. Exhale, interlace the fingers. In or squeeze the shoulder blades together. And exhale, press the hands into the ground, lift the hips, heels press down, thighs move inwards, and we lift chest and resort towards the chin. We're going to stay here, breathing in, breathing out. If you went to your four wheel, make sure the chest pushes through the arms. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Take one more breath here, inhale, exhale. And said you can stay there for the five breaths or come down for a moment. Take a breath and lifting up again. If you come into your full wheel, hands by your ears, fingers turn slightly out so the elbows are pointing to the sky. Press to the feet, press to the hands. I like coming on the crown of the head. It gives me a moment, a break, but it's a moment where I can readjust my hands and feet and then I lift in my four wheel option to lift the heels if you're lifting the heels maybe the hands move a little bit closer to the feet push forward through the arms with the chest and staying there breathing in breathing out inhaling exhaling we take three more breaths inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, last one, breathe in, breathe out. From here, chin to collar, inhale, and exhale slowly coming all the way down. We're going to meet on our backs, we're going to bring the knees into the chest, keep the tailbone on the ground, and then bring the forehead to the knees, squeezing in. Maybe moving side to side or drawing circles if that feels good. And from here, keep the knees bent. Slowly bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Taking a couple of spinal twists here. So wrap that right leg over the left. Draw both knees to the left. Take a moment to move the right hip back. Try to have the right hip in line with your shoulder. Then right arm can extend diagonally, left arm can be placed wherever feels good. Gaze maybe opposite side of the extended arm. Sorry, gaze towards the extended arm, but it doesn't matter. Breathe in and breathe out. Find a place where you find a stretch in the right side of your body. And then slowly bring knees back to center, tailbone on the ground. Again, draw the knees into the chest, feet down, cross the left leg of the right, knees go to the right. A moment to move the left hip so it's in line with the left shoulder, extend the left arm out. Maybe you look at the left hand. And again, breathing in and breathing out.
and we move back to center. A moment to squeeze the knees into the chest, elbow into the ground, forehead to the knees. And then we're going to extend the legs, finding our last pose. We're going to come and bring the hands by our hips, or we're going to sit on our hands. Legs extended, weight on the elbows. Use the hands to pull yourself forward so the heart becomes the highest part of the body. And then gently allow the head to drop back. If that's okay for your neck, or you can keep looking forward. If you're looking back, crown of the head on the mat. Maybe you lift the legs 45. Maybe you go with the hands to Uttana Padasana. From here, we close our eyes. Three line breaths. Breathe into the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Pull out the tongue. <sighs> In. Ah. In. Ah. Let's control, lower the legs, if you have the legs lift. Chin to collar, finding your last pose, Shavasana. Your final adjustment, eyes closed, find stillness. Allow yourself to melt into the mat. The breath becomes completely soft. The natural flow of energy comes back. The body knows what to do now. You simply allow yourself to find stillness. Allow the body to become so soft that the skin gently melts off the muscles. Soften up your muscles until they melt off the bones. Allow the bones to become so soft that they turn to dust. The only thing left on your mat is your energy, pure essence of who you are. Slowly allow your breath to deepen. Slowly coming back to your body. Moving toes, feet, ankles. Moving fingers, hands and wrists. Gently moving the head side to side. Soft, gentle movements. Maybe stretching out the body. Arms above the head, legs squeezed together. Taking a full breath in through the nose. <sighs> on your backs, maybe knees into the chest, maybe rolling to one side, and again taking a moment, full breath in, breathe out, and from here eyes closed, slowly raising up to your seated position. 
closing as we started, prayer to the heart. A moment again to observe our bodies, our breath, checking how we feel, having a person we share the practice in our hearts. A moment to come back to our thoughts, intention, purpose of the practice in mind. Breathe it in. Let's close the practice, the space and the energy all together with one oh. deep breath in. Bowing head forward, thanking all the teachers past and present, thanking life for the biggest teacher of all. Most of all, I thank you for sharing your practice, your breath, your energy and time with me. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you. Please feel free to leave comments. Uh, my Instagram link is in the description of the video if you want to follow me. And yes, hopefully I'll have your class again soon.